It's actually been a pretty fun week for Star Wars news. First we heard about Dave Filoni's promotion, and now Daisy Ridley has offered a slight update on her new Jedi Order movie. Speaking with Collider, she said, The story is really cool. I'm waiting to read a script because obviously I don't have any other updates. It's not what I expected, but I'm very excited. I know the storyline for one film. That's not to say that's all it is, but that's what I was told about. And I imagine it will be the next film, I think. I mean, again, I don't know, post-strikes and everything, how quickly everything will start up again. But yes, so far, I know the story of one film, and I think people will be very excited. I'll link to the full article in the description, which was written by Arzu Amin from Geeky Waffle, so do go check out her full story. But let's get into what Ridley said, which wasn't a ton, but definitely sparked my interest. First, when she was asked if the new Jedi Order movie would be the start of a new trilogy, she doesn't seem to know herself. She says she was told the story for one film, which isn't to say that will be the only film. I'm happy that it doesn't seem like everyone is rushing to jump into a new trilogy. The new Jedi Order and the Dawn of the Jedi movies both seem like they could start new trilogies, but I think it's smarter right now to take a slower approach. We haven't had a Star Wars movie in four years now. It'll probably be six by the time one is finished, and the movie industry is dramatically shifting. The box office is struggling. Movies I thought for sure would be massive hits this year, like Mission Impossible 7, underperformed. I think and hope new Star Wars movies will be major events for the big screen, but I think it's smart to not get ahead of ourselves. I would rather the New Jedi Order and Dawn of the Jedi feel like complete chapters without cliffhangers. Like the first Star Wars, it told a full, satisfying story that, sure, had room to continue, but didn't necessarily need to. Compare that to The Force Awakens, which ended on a massive cliffhanger. Or so which had the big mall reveal at the end, and by John Kazdan's admission, was meant to set up its own trilogy of films. That's what I want to avoid. Let's focus on telling the most satisfying story we can in one movie, and then worry about sequels after it's done. Ridley's comments seem to suggest that's how the New Jedi Order is being handled, and I like that. She also says she thinks it'll be the next Star Wars film, but she's unsure how quickly everything will start up after the strikes. That lines up with what we heard from director Charmaine Obeid Shinoy shortly after Star Wars Celebration. I believe in an interview she said she was honored and excited to direct the next Star Wars film. That just makes sense. Dawn of the Jedi is probably going to have a lot of pre-production and conceptualizing to figure out what that era of Star Wars will look like. Filoni's New Republic movie will likely have seasons more of television building up to it. But the New Jedi Order already has a foundation of characters and context from the sequel trilogy. Not to say it won't take a lot of pre-production and conceptualizing. Is that even a word? Conceptualization? Whatever. The team will still have to figure out what the state of the galaxy is after the rise and fall of the First Order, but if the storyline is prepared, I assume they have already figured that out. I think it's safe to say the new Jedi Order movie will be first in line. I know there will be some fans who are less than enthused by that idea, but to them I say, give this a chance to surprise you. I admit that out of the three announced movies, the new Jedi Order is the one I'm least excited about. The rise of Skywalker left me a little disillusioned. It made some decisions I wish it hadn't. But, new stories like this always have a chance to help you see things in a new light. The Star Wars fandom has been in this exact place before. I can't tell you how many people have told me they didn't like the prequel trilogy, and they didn't want to watch the Clone Wars because of it. But eventually, they gave it a chance, they loved the series, and then they found a new appreciation for the prequels. This is the same situation for us older fans. I'm excited to see what Rey's Jedi Order looks like. I'm hopeful to see Finn as a fully realized Jedi instead of just vague hints about it. There are a lot of potential ideas in here that excite me. And for the younger fans, the people who were 10 when The Force Awakens came out, I'm excited for them to have their generation of Star Wars continue on like this. And that's who this movie is primarily for as far as I'm concerned. The last thing Daisy said about the upcoming story was that it was not what she expected and she herself is excited as well. I also like to hear that it's unexpected. We're gonna have 15 years in between The Rise of Skywalker and The New Jedi Order. I don't want to be able to draw a straight and predictable line from point A to point B. I would like to be surprised. I like the unknown. That's why the Dawn of the Jedi movie is my most anticipated, because I have no idea what it'll be like. Even a small tease about some unexpected elements in the New Jedi Order piques my interest. But that's all I've got to say about the article. Again, you can read the full story for yourself at the link in the description. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on our socials, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.